Good evening. Welcome to Dr. Diana's Halloween Science video series. In tonight's video, we're going to learn how to make fake blood. Now, you may be asking yourself, now, why should I learn how to make fake blood when I can go out to any department store and buy fake blood for about 99 cents to about 4 or $5, even up to $14? Well, because this recipe is totally drinkable. Wow. So, tonight we're going to learn how to make fake blood, and as in all my videos, please make sure you follow safety precautions when conducting all science experiments. We're going to take one cup of water and add it to a beaker. Now, you don't have to use a beaker at your Halloween party, but it just makes it look a lot better. Then we're going to add a bit of cocoa to our water. So we've taken one cup of water and we're adding about one teaspoon worth of cocoa. We're also going to add just a bit of cornstarch. And next we're going to add some red food coloring. Our last ingredient that we're going to add this evening will be caro syrup. Now the caro syrup is going to give it its viscosity, it's going to allow it to be a little more thicker. So if you want a really thick blood, fake blood, then you, I would suggest you use the clear caro syrup. Uh, this is basically a recipe that's a drinkable blood. Um, it's probably not the best for using to make fake wounds and things of that sort. But there's not too many recipes out there for totally drinkable blood. To recap what we did, we took one cup of water, We took about a teaspoon of cocoa, just a bit of cornstarch, a little bit of red food coloring, and some dark caro syrup. And again, if you want your blood to be thicker, to be used for a wound type effect, I would suggest that you use the clear caro syrup as opposed to the dark caro syrup. And the more light caro syrup you use, the thicker your fake blood will be. And there we have our fake blood. That is totally drinkable. In addition to making blood at your party, what you should have on hand is models of the heart which you can get at your local Halloween stores and you can order them from science companies. You can get wind-up hearts. I got that cool wind-up heart off of eBay. And you can get stretchable models of the heart from all kinds of department stores. Again, you want to set the mood for your party. In addition to having models of the heart and making fake blood at your Halloween party, get some stethoscopes and let your guests check to see that their tickers are still working. Making your blood, you can pour it into a plastic test tube with a cap and then give each one of your guests a test tube of drinkable blood to take home with them. When you're done making your blood, pour it into a goblet and you're going to be the first one to drink it in front of your guests. Delicious. I want to drink your blood.